everything we need to know to gain release from suffering is right here, right now, happening right here, right now. There are two reasons why we don't see it, though. One is that our powers of perception are not subtle enough, and the other is that we don't know where to focus, because there are lots of things happening right here, right now, that have nothing to do with putting an end to suffering. And so as we meditate, we have to develop these two qualities. One is becoming more subtle in our powers of perception, and two is learning what to look at, what to look for, where to look in the present moment. And the breath helps us in both ways. There are many levels of subtlety in the breath. You can start out with just the in and out breath. Notice where you feel it in the body as the breath comes in, where you feel it when it goes out. And right there you can start asking the right question, which is, where is the stress here? Where is there unnecessary stress? Because the issue that we have to focus on is just that, what we're doing that's causing stress. And the breath is something we do, and there is an element of stress in the breath. And ordinary breathing is a lot more stressful than it has to be. So you can ask yourself, why? What's going on here? And to see clearly, you watch the breath coming in, you watch it going out, and you try to be as consistent as possible. And that allows the mind to get more and more still, more focused in the present moment, more solidly here. And that's what enables you to see more subtle things going on in the breath and in the mind. Because you're sitting here with the breath, and you're not just watching the breath. You're also right here with the activity of the mind in the present moment. And you can begin to, to notice, what's the mind doing with the in-breath? What's it doing with the out-breath? Does it squeeze the breath out? Does it try to stuff too much breath in? How does it perceive the process of breathing? Pains may come up in the body. How are those related to the breathing? And how the, can the breathing help relieve some of the, the burdensomeness of the pain? You can look for that. If it's too much to look for right now, just go back to the question of how refined can you make the breath? How comfortable can you make the breath? That helps both with the subtlety and with the focus. You do have to bring some knowledge to the practice of why you're here with the breath. It's not simply the technique that's going to teach you everything. There are questions you have to ask. In fact, it's better to know the questions that you ask than some of what the answers might be. Because if you know too many answers ahead of time, you're going to skew the practice, thinking you've seen things you haven't really seen. It's all too easy. You've heard that we have to go to emptiness, we have to see that there's no self. And so you can convince yourself that you've seen these things. But you may have created them. And that's what we're, not we're here for, is to see the ideas or the realizations that you can create, but the ones that surprise you, the things that surprise you about the mind, the ways that it creates suffering for itself that you wouldn't have expected. Again, they're here, right here, right now, they're happening all the time, and yet we overlook them or we misinterpret them. We're looking someplace else, and our powers of perception are not clear enough not subtle enough. So that's what we work on, realizing that the important questions are just these. Where is there stress? Why is there stress? What can be done to do away the cause of the stress? 
those are the questions you want to pose. And you find that you're going to learn a lot about stress. It's interesting that the Buddha never defines stress, dukkha. He talks about different types of stress. He talks about different examples of stress. But in, there's never an essential definition of what it is. Because your sensitivity to what stress is is going to get a lot more refined as you follow the path. So do what you can to stay with the breath. Anything that disturbs you, okay, that's an instance of stress. It might be disturbing the, the breath, it might be disturbing the mind. And if you find that it's related to anything the mind is doing, that's what you let go. I mean, there are going to be disturbances from outside. Those are not the problem. The problem is what your mind does with those disturbances and how it disturbs itself. I was reading recently about a baby who had swallowed a little, little leaf. The leaf got stuck in its esophagus and the, the body started building up a defense around it. It almost killed itself by defending itself from the leaf. Fortunately, there were some doctors who were willing to operate, and they found that that was what the problem was. They th thought at first it was cancer, but no, it was just an oak leaf. And the mind is often like that. Some little thing happens, and you can practically kill yourself over it in your reaction to it, in your efforts to protect yourself from it, to push it away. So that's what we're, we're interested here, is how the mind deals with things in a way that causes itself suffering. And so we start with the breath, because the breath is an intentional activity. It's one of the few processes of the body that can be either automatic or intentional. And as soon as you focus your attention on it, it's going to become intentional. So you have to learn to do it in a way that says, smooth and nourishing and soothing for the body. That's how you get your practice in learning how to minimize stress. And from there you begin to notice how your perception of the breath, the way the mind thinks about it, the way the mind pictures the breath to itself, also has an impact on how you breathe and how much of a burden it is. And so in this way, you develop your powers of sensitivity and you move your focus into the spot that's really important, is how the mind's perceptions create suffering. Which perceptions are actually helpful in putting an end to suffering, which perceptions are going to be more, more disturbing, more burdensome. So when you're staying right here, remember there's a purpose to staying right here. That's not just the technique. It's a series of questions you bring to the technique that are really going to open things up inside. So you can see what's already there, but you've been missing it all along. 